All right, everybody, Russ, rwgresearch.com. Today is still June 1st, 2011, and, uh, yep, World War II, baby. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say about that. Let's plasmatize some hydrogen. All right, so if you guys didn't see my last video, I have a hydrogen-oxygen split gas cell here from Bill Williams. Thanks, sir. And uh, we are splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen and separating it all in one cell. Sweet deal. So what we're going to do with this hydrogen is we're going to run this hydrogen through this plastic donut that Mike Powers has kindly donated. This was a test piece. And uh, I've drilled and tapped this end. And I drilled the hole and put a piece of uh, uh, connector in this side. Now when this is originally is done it will have two plastic ends but uh, I went ahead and did that so I could flow gas through it and uh, basically on the other end here it's just sitting nothing special and what I'm going to do is turn this on and then the hydrogen will go through this pure hydrogen and I'm going to turn this spark gap on here this is 12,000 volts into a spark gap which will actually increase the voltage and potential and the frequency Lots of cool things with this spark gap. And then there shall be plasma. Um, just in case something crazy were to happen. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Appreciate it. All right, let's get started. Uh, where do I want to start? Right here. Boop. All right. 12 volt. Dropping on the amperage a little bit there. Sorry for the fuzzy footage, but this camera doesn't autofocus. But it sure does make it a lot easier to upload videos. Alright, so let's plug the high voltage transformer in. Now, I really hope nothing explodes. I should probably have this on an isolated circuit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn my computer off. And I'm going to unplug it. And I'm going to unplug my TV that I got for free on the side of a curb. <laughs> Hilarious. All right. Now, we are ready. Um, you can see we're producing hydrogen and oxygen here. I'm using the hydrogen from this tube. Going into this donut. Out to nothing. And uh, let's do it. All right, guys, the epic day, plasma. I hope this works. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, spark gap's firing. That's my safety gap. I see no plasma. So, what we're going to do is take the caps off and uh, hope for the best. Bear with me. I cannot cut this footage um, because if I cut this footage, I won't be able to upload it together on this camera. So, we're just going to undo one of these. Just need one. This will cut out the capacitor effect, and we'll have 12,000 volts going into this donut. All right. Let's try this again. Five, four, three, wish me luck. Two, one, nothing. Hmm. I don't know what that tells us. The only thing I can think of is we're not getting a very good cathode and anode because this isn't actually inside the tube. If you know what I mean. It's actually the outside, so it'd have to jump uh, around, back around and inside to this point. So, what I'll do 
is stick some wires inside there and make another video. Sad. Alright, make sure you watch part two. RussRWGResearch.com